Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion, Let's Play Small Xenonauts Community Edition, and we are trying to deal with this landed ship. We've got a landed landing ship. Or technically a crashed landing ship. I mean, we did blow kind of big holes in it, so... Yeah, this was not a controlled landing. Maybe a controlled crash. So, we've managed to sweep most of the map. We've just got this little back corner here with a couple of buildings, and we believe at least one surviving local forces, who's been taking pot shots at the door of the UFO. However, approaching this is proving kind of difficult. We've got this open road here, we've got the doors right here. Uh, we have a little bit of cover over here, but getting into this area is actually going to be a little difficult. So, I kind of want to group up again. I think I'm going to bring these two guys around the back of the ship, group them up the, with these three over here. So we've got five people here, ready to go. And then we move down here. We might have to dash some people straight across the road. I mean, it's a long way to go. They're going to end up on the other side with no time units. So if they reveal something, it could be bad. But I think we've, it's the only way to go, really. The only other way would be bring people all the way back over here and then approach from this angle. Hope we don't get seen from the doors if they open them. And then move in through here. And I think, we're, I think we're better off doing it this way. Now, we do still have our Overwatch team up here on the rooftop. Snipers, scatter laser, all rocking and ready to go. We've got our wounded bloke back here, Major Zero Slug. Uh, he unfortunately took a bit of shrapnel from grenade earlier, and we are one person down already. But we're doing okay. I mean, we've killed a fair number of enemies. Unfortunately, we are facing some of the toughest enemies in the game. We've got Andron, Elite, uh, Andron Soldiers and Andron Warriors. They're pretty nasty. Plus the Wraiths. Um, although I believe they are probably mostly dead at this point, because we haven't seen anything of them for a while. We only had two of them, although one of them did manage to kill um, one of our captains, which is kind of upsetting. Now, we don't actually have vision on the doors from here, which concerns me a little bit. I could move you up a bit to there. Yeah, let's rotate you around a bit. I want to be careful with Zero Slow, because obviously he has already taken damage. Okay. Oh, okay, there, okay, well, we've got a civilian, and, wow, how do they survive this close to the UFO? That's lucky, because if they ever showed themselves to whoever was opening the door, they would have been in trouble. Although, I do think that the the dude up here is probably to local forces, so he's got a ballistic rifle, and he's been taking shots out the window. He might have actually killed an Andron in the doorway, I'm not sure. The dude might have gone a bit rambo on everyone. But that's actually a good sign, because if there's someone alive in this building, and someone alive in this building, I can't think there's Androns around. I mean, the upper upstairs is definitely clear. The downstairs, I mean, we have seen Androns in lower, on, on ground floors, who haven't engaged enemies on a floor above them. You know, their programming normally goes towards let's hide in a corner, then let's chase people down upstairs, but still. Uh, let's see, 83 time units, 100 time units, 96 time units. So you could actually get across here and still have 40 time units left, which is enough for a normal shot, but you're my commander. How risky do I want to be with my commander? Could lead off with a major instead, leaves you enough for a snapshot. Or we take the lieutenant, and he just gets there with no time units at all. Sorry. It, you're not quite a corporal. This isn't quite the job description, but, um, yeah. I kind of need you. I kind of need you over there. Take, Get down there and crouch. That's good. This here back area looks clear. This building's actually a lot smaller than I thought. I actually thought it extended down this way. So that's kind of good news. Now, I could move someone else down here and put them on the corner behind you, but that might reveal them to the door. Then again, no one's opening the door, so do we need to worry about that right now? I think I'm going to hold what I've got. Move you forward next turn, pay, take a peek through the window. If the ground floor looks clear, peek around here, and then we'll know if we can start moving everyone up. Okay, civilian running around, local forces up top running around. At least I think that's the local forces. Someone around here has, a, has an AK. We've heard them shooting stuff. And I'm pretty sure the Androns are not using you know, um, ballistic rifles. Oh, there's actually another building back here as well. Damn, okay. I mean, this is good. This gives us a little bit of cover. We can set up a couple of places. We've got a rooftop, some upstairs windows, so we might be able to see four of the doors and then reveal on the inside from a decent kind of position. So I am kind of okay with this. Let's... 
Let's get you down. Actually, go to there. Just a little bit worried. Do we see? It? We did see up there, and that's where the local forces are. Yeah, there's not going to be a dude standing on that balcony. And I probably do want to leave at least one person back here. Uh, let's see. Technically, that counts as cover. Oddly enough. Can you f like? What's the fire up from there? Okay, not great, but you're in cover, so I kind of like it. Uh, let's get the plasma rifle down here. I do love me that plasma rifle. The only problem is we've only got the one, and I've only got two reloads for it, so we're kind of trying to make the ammo. Don't know how many shots we're going to need for whoever's inside, so we're trying to make that work for us. Okay, this is this is going better than I'd hoped. I was actually quite nervous coming into this episode. We've already lost one person. Uh, and I was worried that we were going to immediately hit contact down here and struggle to deal with it and just end up in some kind of death spiral of losing people. Okay. Is that wall destroyed or can you just not see it? No, okay, that's an intact wall. I was just worried because I thought if Androns had been walking through that, that could mean there was still contact down here. I mean, this area does look pretty good. Uh, let's move you back to there for the time being. Let's get the commander behind you to back you up. And then I'm thinking I want that plasma rifle up top. So let's get Major Vittori just to make sure this area is clear before I start running up valuable people. That's looking good. This will be our first eyes on the door as well. Right, who's actually in this room? Oh god, there's two of them and one of them's got a machine gun. Holy crap. Okay, so... We've got a, local, a surviving civilian and two surviving local forces. In fact, have we actually seen a dead civilian anywhere on this map? We might actually have all of the civilians and local forces surviving right now. Which is mildly alarming. Um, for one reason, I don't trust these guys. If I'm setting up a breach and they're up here with windows able to see that, they could end up shooting us in the back, especially with that machine gun. I mean, you know, props to you for having a machine gun, but I don't trust them. Okay, let's get people up there on these windows watching the front of the UFO. At least now we'll know if anyone comes out of that UFO. These two can sweep the ground floor here. Uh, there's no way up to the third floor, is there? No. So we've just got that vantage point up there. Sweep this building. You could probably move up to this building. And we're actually going to be pretty much set to actually get into the side of this UFO. Yeah, see, I don't like him running around behind me. I'm sorry. I know you've done really well. It's a stressful day. You're surviving an alien invasion pretty damn well. Gonna give you props for that. But I don't trust my own guys not to shoot themselves in the back. Okay, that looks clear. I mean, I can't... If there was an Andron down here, surely it would have murdered all these people by now. Oh, no. Nope. Just trying to turn you around. I'm not trying to actually play with the door. Can I get you... This building has got to be safe, because that civilian is running back and forth between all the rooms. And that does give us another window to put someone up here. Maybe something like the scatter laser, actually, in that position would be kind of nice. And then the snipers... Actually, I don't want to put the snipers up top. That would limit their arcs of fire, actually. I probably want to put the snipers maybe back here, and just have them in the open, far enough away that they can't be seen, and that way they can take shots revealed by people up front. I mean, I do like to have people in cover where I can, but it's not always necessary. So we probably want to start moving you guys up. Maybe probably this turn, actually, let's be honest. Jump through there for me. I don't really want to put you on this window, but I'm going to use you just, just to double check this is clear. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, that's a safe spot for you. No one can see you there. Yep, this is perfectly clear. Uh, let's... Yeah, put you in that doorway. You can always shut the door if we get in trouble. But you're far enough away. It shouldn't be a problem. And uh, let's move you... I'm actually going to move you back up along the side of the ship. Because that carbine is very close range. So if anything does start coming out, we want to be able to reveal it. Now, who's got my C4 charges? Uh, you don't have any. You pr almost certainly don't have any. What about you guys? Nope. 
We should have, we got one there. Okay, I think we've got two on the heavy weapons guy at the back. We had like three or four. You've got a ton of grenades, which I love. Nothing on you, yeah. So the other C4 charges are probably on our scatter laser dude. Or lady, actually. Because she is freakishly strong. 90 strength, good lord. Yeah, okay. So you can have some fun with that. We'll pass those out to people soon. Let's start moving all of you lot. As my <coughs> voice breaks. Pardon. <coughs> Sorry. Got to cough into the microphone. There's no way of not coughing into a microphone at this point in time. Is it really quicker to jump through that window than to walk through the door? I I guess because you're heading to the stairs. It just, just feels like a lot of effort, you know? Jumping through a window rather than just going a few extra steps to go down the stairs. Maybe I'm just super lazy. Okay, let's move them up. They should be pretty safe to move them straight along the back here, so we don't have to take any kind of fancy route. We've just got to spend a turn or two actually getting them in position. You guys are all set up there, fine. I want you up alongside here. I mean, it doesn't say that any of this is cover, so I don't really want to try and put you there. I actually can't actually go to those spots. I can go to there. That feels a bit vulnerable. I'm going to... well, maybe. We are going to need some people there. I might put you there. We're going to need people up close and personal to protect who's ever putting the C4 charge down. So, you know, they're going to have to get up there at some point. Now this is a nice big door, so if we can blast that with a C4 charge, we will have a nice big opening to storm through. The bottom of this UFO is quite big, and I believe most of the designs have one room on this side and one room on this side, with some pads at the back to go up to the second floor. Aliens don't use stairs, they're too advanced for that. So they have... teleporters to go between floors. I mean, I guess at a certain point the technology becomes cheap enough that, yes, that makes a logical sense to people. I think it sounds lazy, but what do I know? I don't know alien economics. I don't even know human economics. Okay, one more turn should get people there. Mm, a bit worried about those local forces. If they shoot us in the back when we're trying to breach, I will be very annoyed. Now, where do we want to try and put these guys? I mean, we want them to be far enough away that the androns won't see them. The androns have about the same line of sight as us, which means they can see down to about here. So anywhere beyond this point, we'll be fine. And these are long-range weapons we're dealing with, so... I don't think we'll suffer too much of an accuracy penalty. We can always shuffle them around a bit once they're set. But if we can blow those doors off, and then we, if we that then reveals people inside, I want to be able to just light them up. Okay, one more turn to get you in position, I think. Yep, you can get there next turn. And then we can start shuffling around C4 charges. So from there... Yeah, you'll be able to clear up that entire area. The centre of the door is actually there, so I might want to actually put you one more over. Like so. Or I could put the scatter laser in that window. It does give you a bit of protection, but kind of limits your arc. Uh, where's the damage and accuracy drop-off for this thing? Uh, can I... I need a clear open space. It goes... yeah. I think we'll be okay. I don't want to. I want to keep them safe. That's the primary concern here. We don't know how many bad guys are inside. There could be one left. There could be ten left. We've taken out. Uh, how many have we taken? Out, actually, we took down one, two, three, four, five, six bad guys, which is actually not that many. If this was a Corvette, we'd be expecting at least another four. Apart, apart from that one time we did a Corvette mission and there were only five aliens. That was weird. 
but okay. I mean, no hostile activity. Who had that C4 charge? Aha. Now, I don't want you to drop the C4 charge, so just... Uh, let's see. Let's move you a tile over, drop it on the floor, and someone else can come pick it up. Did I? Okay. Yep. I had a brain moment there. Moved you one tile, moved you one tile back. That made perfect sense. Thank God I'm not like an actual commander of people with any kind of responsibility. Now, who do you want to throw this? We've got a corporal and we've got a lieutenant. You technically have more time units, so that makes me think I can get you, you know, there and back again safer. So let's bring you back around here. I know I just sent you up that way, but what can I say? I'm trying to make sure you get a lot of exercise. Nope, that was the wrong person. Okay. I don't like how it randomly selects someone at the start of every turn. Just select the person who I had previously selected. Does that seem complicated? Does that seem difficult? Apparently, but I don't know why. Okay. Uh, what I'm thinking... I'm actually going to move... Right, I'm going to... I don't really want you upstairs. I want to make sure we've got shots in through the doors of this place. So I'm actually thinking about this. As opposed to my usual not thinking about stuff. Uh, let's actually bring you back. I'm going to have the lieutenant go up and throw the C4 charge on their own. I want everyone else kind of around ground floor windows. So they can actually take shots into this place. Uh, from the second floor you will limit the shots. It would have been nice if they were coming outside, but it looks like they're going to be staying inside. So you set up there. You guys are here. I can put you on the corner here, or actually maybe on the corner there. I'm thinking of putting the plasma rifle there, because it would be nice and close. So maybe we move you to there, and then you... Okay, well, you need to get downstairs for a start. And then you... Come downstairs as well. Yeah, let's just reorientate. Reorientate quickly. So we've got maximum firepower able to penetrate the interior of the alien. Oh, Christ! Okay, fine, do that now, why don't you? We've been here for 10 turns, and not a single bad guy's come out. Now I start moving people out of position, and... Okay, I need to turn my headphones down a bit, because that was damn loud, but I like how that civilian was a better shot than my guys. Uh, okay, that's a thing. I do actually have shots on him from here. I mean, this is kind of why I had a firing lane set up back here, so sure, take him out. Cool. So there was a dude standing right there the entire time we were running people around. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but okay. Let's get you set up there. I don't know if that's going to encourage any more of them to come out. So let's make sure we've actually got people on the corners, ready to do their thing. And you, I guess, run up here because that doesn't feel as safe as it just did a minute ago. Also, really good shooting from the civil local forces up here. Can I hire that person? I, f I feel like maybe we need to hire that guy. They're doing a damn good job here. Okay, anyone else want to come play? Because otherwise, I am blowing the doors off your house. So, if you want to come out and play, now is the time to say. Uh, okay, let's do a quick ammo check. You're down to two. You're full. You're on four. Ten. Four. 10. Okay, I'm going to reload you. Oh, I don't want to waste ammo. We've got two full reloads. I mean, I'd rather I'd rather go in with a full set of ammo on this. Let's not be stingy right now. And let's reload you as well. We don't have to reload in the middle of combat. That usually works out badly. So. Let's creep our way forward obviously this might incur some kind of reaction. Let's grab the C4 charge. Is that all the remains of an Andron? Wow, okay. I've never actually stood on an Andron corpse before. What kind of Andron was that? Was that a soldier? Yeah, okay.
Okay, let's arm this. I'm going to give ourselves plenty of time to drop it and get the hell out of there. So give me five turns. And then we're not going to throw it. I'm going to run him up to there. Can I get you back? I might just run you that way. This is where it gets risky, but this is why we don't use commanders for this. Perfect. Right. You definitely put that on the floor, didn't you? Yep. Okay. Um, and now, you know, bravely run away, please. Hopefully one charge will take the door down. So, four more turns until the big boom. The earth-shattering kaboom. Get your gun out. Alright, everyone just hold what you got. You are not actually in a great position. Well, there might be a dude standing over this side you might be able to hit. I mean, you do have a fairly decent arc from there, I suppose. And there's not really where else to put you. We don't actually have any... Some cover here would have been perfect. But we don't actually have any. Uh, right. Three turns until the earth-shattering kaboom. Okay, next turn. Okay. Time to knock. Cool, one charge did it. Uh, no hostiles spotted inside, so you can see there is a lot of cover in here we can move up on. That's quite good. Also, it looks like it has taken a lot of damage inside. That might mean there's not a lot of bad guys. That could be good for us, but we'll see if anyone comes to investigate the loud locking noise on their front door. If anyone wants to come and say hi, put out the fire, get themselves a coffee, plug themselves in. I don't know what, I don't know what androids do. They probably don't have coffee, to be honest. They're robots. Okay, no response at all to the breaching charge. Mildly alarming. But... I think we can probably start moving up, so let's get you guys... You guys can go out through this window and move up to this side. And I think we'll move you three around this side, and then the six of you can go in. We'll have you three kind of just watching the entrance while we do this, though. So they stay there for the time being. Okay. I'm going to move you guys up a few tiles. Just so you're a bit closer to the action. I mean, spreading them out might also be a good idea. But we'll see. Okay. Let's do this in stages. So let's get the right side sorted first. Because we are going to reveal a bit as we do that. Why has that civilian gone outside the building? Now is not the time to be outside the building, god damn it. Fine, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Well, at least we know that side's clear. And also, this doesn't look like it's actually got the rooms I was expecting. This is an open plan, ground floor, landing ship. They do come in multiple varieties and colours. Yeah, get back inside the damn house and shut the doors. Be brought up in a barn. Okay, Victoria, we're going to kind of set up along the same arc here, so let's get you there. You didn't reveal any of that. You probably will when you come out that door, uh, out through that window. I'm not entirely sure I want that or not, but I guess it's one of the things we're going to have happen. I'm going to take this a little careful and slow. Get back there. I mean, there might not be any bad guys on the ground floor. They might all be upstairs. There might only be one guy left. It might be an officer. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think there's an officer. I'm not sure we can actually capture an android officer. We can use... I mean, stun gas won't work on them. They're robots. Um, and electroshock grenades do damage to them. So there's actually no way to capture androns, I believe. Unless maybe an electroshock prod. I wonder if electroshock prods would work on them. That might be a moot question, because I don't have any, so... Okay. Still no contact. 
I wish I, I wish I could still see inside the craft when I had to have my cursor over it. But I guess that's what we kind of live with right now. Okay, lowest rank people, move up and take a peek. Ooh, okay, there's the engine room. Those engines have taken a beating. They will not take much to explode. Uh, we've got some doors back here. So there's actually an engine room at the back there. There's one of the teleporters, so we've got to watch out for that. And there's actually another one over there. You can just see, even though we haven't revealed the tile, you can actually see the light effects just above it. Okay. Pull back to there. Back you up with the plasma rifle. You move to there. Rinse and repeat on the other side. Corporal Yund Lund. Okay. Not seeing much. Might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. We don't know at this point. But we know the immediate area is clear, so I'm actually going to move you guys up a little bit more. That way you might be able to engage all the way to the back if there is someone in the engine room. So what we want to do is we want to move in and come around the sides. Check these corners we haven't seen yet. And then sweep the engine room. We'll also need to keep an eye on the teleporters though. So if anyone does come down the teleporter, we want to have people eyes on it and be able to shoot them as they come off. Because they might counter-attack as we breach the bottom half of the UFO. And also, hope the Luca forces up top don't shoot me in the back of the head. I mean, I know I said I was really impressed with them and all, but still would rather not get shot in the head. So I'm thinking if we can move to these two pieces of cover, maybe a person here and a person here, that does leave technically a fire arc through the centre, but we're a bit clustered up on both sides. And this kind of does rely on us not actually encountering an enemy straight off the bat. But I can't really think of a better way of doing this, so get in there. You're in smoke, you've got some cover. There's actually a wall there, okay, I didn't realise that. Um, I want to check this side before I commit too heavily, so let's get you in that side. Okay, plasma rifle there. I'm thinking I might actually leave you guys outside for the time being, rather than crowd too many people in there. Let's see what response we get to this. Okay, nothing. I mean, I guess that's good. Um, it's quiet. Too quiet. Okay, I think we can we actually see... Yeah, that is actually the corner there. So we can see the entirety of this. We can see the entirety of that. There's like two undiscovered tiles there, but I'm sh I kind of feel like someone would have responded. We would have heard someone coming down this way if, you know, well, maybe. I don't know. Nerves! Nerves, nerves, nerves. Uh, take that cover there. Watch that way. You're kind of covering both these doors and that, which I appreciate is not the easiest thing. Let's move you around to here and put you behind that. So you're kind of doing the same thing. I think I actually put the plasma rifle there as well. Let's get you in there. I don't want to put them along this bit until I know there's no bad guy in these like three unrevealed tiles. So I'm trying to avoid that. Let's put you there. So we're nicely spread out but we are covering the teleporters and the doors to the engine room. I am actually... I've got a little bit of a, like, a whole kind of nervous sweat thing going on right now. I don't think I'm really designed for this kind of game. Like, I love it. I do love this kind of game. But at the same time, the stress. I, oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh, didn't mean to click that. What can I see here? Am I seeing upstairs? I'm seeing upstairs. Am I seeing... How am I seeing upstairs? Most of the upstairs of this UFO is on fire. And apparently I have vision into these rooms, which is interesting. OK, 
Okay, I mean, that's useful. I'm mildly alarmed by it. I don't know how I got that vision. Uh, hopefully I can't be, like, shot from above, because that would suck. Yeah, please don't have glitch stuff, but... Okay, we did notice some fire when we landed, so that's... Well, we now know what's on fire. The entire upper story of the UFO. Might work in our favour, might not. I mean, it's been burning for a while, so... I'm kind of hoping that goes out. Okay, no hostile contacts. So, I need someone to sweep the engine room. One undiscovered tile, okay. Yeah, okay, engine room is clear. You're good. Plasma rifle there. Let's move the rifleman down to there. And then let's get a sniper behind him. So now we can we can orientate directly onto these. You're getting a bit close to that Major Victoria, but I have faith. I trust in you. And also it means it opens up the slot back here for me to put more people. Which is always nice. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I actually have to get closer to these teleporters to run through them. And this is the point at which they, you know, you move people here to stack up and move up, and then they come down and shoot you. So that's fun. I mean, luckily, with a laser carbine at that range, it will probably kill anything that does come down. But I've only got the one laser carbine. Let's try and edge people as close as we can, just to see what triggers a response. And then when we breach upstairs, we are going to have to breach with everything we've got. We do not want to half ass a breach and not have enough firepower. In fact, it might be worthwhile breaching one side only. It depends. I'm not sure how much of the upstairs is actually going to be intact. These walls are all intact, but that door looks to be open may or may not have been destroyed. I don't want to send someone up, because once you're on the teleporter, you have to step off and step on again to actually get out of there. So you, you are committed. Maybe we should go for the left-hand side. I know it's a bit metagamey, but I can tell this room's not on fire. Whereas that room appears to be a little bit on fire. Which is bad. I mean, we probably want the carbine to go first. So if we pull you back... I mean, we're gonna, if we're gonna only go up the left-hand one, we do want people to watch the right-hand one, just so we don't get breached, uh, so we don't get, you know, flanked. But I want the plasma carbine, uh, the plasma rifle to come with us on the left hand side, so you can move around there as well. Leaving a sniper rifle and a laser rifle, which does mean our, you know, our wounded person doesn't have to take part in an assault, which is probably for the best. I'm just concerned that the upstairs, upper floor of this place is going to be filled like a blimmin' clown car. Now, ideally, what I want to do is stack people up directly around the teleporter to maximize time units next turn. But that's going to be dangerous. We'll have to end turn with people in a circle around this. Not only are they going to be very vulnerable if someone does come down the teleporter and attack us, but it also means if they do get reaction fire on that person appearing, they'll probably hit each other. So maybe, maybe I shouldn't do that. But then if there is no one in that room and there is no danger of them coming down, we're going to be wasting time units we might need up top to cover these last few tiles. Let's 
So maybe we do like a half and half. I mean, we are setting up a perfect crossfire on our own people here, so not the not my best plan. I will I will be I will be honest about that. Probably one of my worst plans, but. If you're here to watch top-level strategy and tactics, then you are definitely in the wrong channel. Okay. Lars, Godspeed, my friend. Okay. Could have been worse. Also, the room's not on fire. I think there's actually less fire than that. I think this, a lot of this fire might actually have burnt out, which I will appreciate. Um, obviously, I need to get more people up there to support you. Where am I going to put them? The threat's going to come through this doorway. That You can't. You definitely can't move through that, can you? No. Okay. Um, so from there, I guess one person there would still be in cover. Put a person there in cover. And then maybe rush people up to here and then take the door, sides of the door. Might be our best bet. So let's get Major Victoria up there. Move to there. Good, you didn't reveal anything. That's nice. And I think I need that. I don't want to really risk a colonel, but I want that plasma rifle up there. If there's an Andron Elite or something about to come from around that corner, I want to kill it. Okay, no response from bad guys. That's great. That's good. I mean, that that's really good. That That's super useful. I'm super happy about having to charge down a bunch of angry androns. Nothing will definitely ever go wrong with this. I mean, we know there's at least one dude up here. There's got to be someone alive up here. That's how the game works. Okay, yeah, this this place is definitely a le lot less on fire than I might have, than I had feared. This is a bit dangerous running past that doorway, but no reaction fire. That's nice. Can't shut that door. And there's an Andron officer right at the back of the room. Okay. Now he might actually be alone. I mean, we, we could we could hope for a miracle. I'm not going to leave you there because that feels a bit exposed. But we have identified where an enemy is, so that's something. Are you being covered there? You are not. Move to. Oh, actually, move to there. That's where I was going to put you. I'm just being a dumbass. Now, he might have seen us as well. They have about the same line of sight range. So, will you come and play, or will you hide in a corner? Does anyone want to come and play? Uh, I feel like we're going to want heavier weapons up there. Also, I can just stack you guys up right here cause, and get you up there as soon as possible, because we know that room is clear. That room also felt clear, but I don't really have anything to back that up with. You did move. That's interesting. I mean, I could just try and take some shots at you and then move back into cover. So, is that... That's an Andron officer because of the headgear, but it's also an Andron elite because it's purple. Man, that thing's going to be tough as nails. Okay. Uh, sure, you're a corporal, you need experience. Take some shots. Yeah. Oh god. Whoa, that reaction fire. That I was not expecting. Okay, you're you're injured and bleeding. That's bad. Okay, yeah. Not messing around. Are you, are you bleeding or are you just badly hurt? You're just badly hurt. Okay, we might get you out of here. We might actually send you back downstairs because that was not fun. Okay, yeah, let's get you the hell out of there. Yeah, that's fine. Just try not to get shot. Uh, get somewhere safe, and have you got a medkit? You do, you can mid yourself up. Okay, that'd be perfect. 
Okay, how are we going to dig this guy out? Uh, I mean, throwing grenades would be great. But I really don't want to, uh, I don't want to engage him. I don't want to engage him at all. Like, he might be on his own, he might not be. But he is going to be tough as nails, and he's got a t and he's very accurate with that fire. Can actually see him from there. And we've got plenty of ammo. I could take some long-range pot shots. My concern is he's just going to hit us again. But we're in cover. We're crouched. 20% chance. Maybe just start spraying him down. 8 damage. Okay. Whoa, that reaction fire. Even at that range, through cover, he'd still land those hits. This guy is nasty. I do not appreciate this person in my life right now. Luckily, he seems to want to stay around the com command chair back there. Uh, let's see. Now, if we're going to get into a long-range firefight, scatter laser in the situation would probably be pretty damn useful. Let's be honest. Other thing I'm thinking is get the plasma rifle into the back corner here, but I really don't want to get my, one of my colonels wounded. You took a little bit of damage. You almost blocked most of it. Oh, there's two dead androns over there. Okay, so they did take some casualties up here. I mean, the problem is getting in range, like, throw a grenade or something. You don't even have any grenades. You've got one. There is a method to my madness here, but it's not a very good method. We've done 8 damage to the guy, he's managed to shoot us twice. Not entirely in love with how this is going so far. Where the hell's he gone now? Okay, well no, that's just a situation we're not going to try and push right now. Um, let's... Let's take people up the other side. I need to med you up anyway. So, if you wouldn't mind getting some hit points back, that'd be lovely. Uh, I want to clear that other room. And then at least I can put a sniper into it. So let's move you guys along there. We're in cover and kind of stable here. I was hoping to maybe spot him from there, snipe him with the plasma rifle, or get a position where I can get the scatter laser to light him up. But I don't know where he's gone to this side of the room. So maybe I do need someone in this room over here, with a sniper rifle to try and hit him. Because other than that, it's just we're just going to have to rush him down. He does only have so much reaction fire, but I mean... I don't... Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Okay, every time he's done this, he's managed to hit us, but... Okay, three 18% shots or one 51% shot. <laughs> 38 damage. He's going to take his reaction fire. Miss. Ooh, only the one. Okay. You know what? Screw it. Take enough shot. <laughs> Did not expect that to work. Okay, also not the last guy. But the officer is down. There was no way to capture him, unfortunately. That I know of. Someone can tell me in the comments if I am completely wrong about that. Okay, you guys are set up there, which is nice. We're going to breach the other room. Unfortunately, with the wounded people. But that's just kind of the way the cookie is about to crumble. So let's get set up over here. Let's move you guys around so you're nice and close and could just charge up there next turn. There's got to be someone else up top. 
And whoever they are, they must be... We've not... We only saw... Unless there's two elites. And I just did notice one of them didn't have a helmet on. So they're either in this room, or... In this back corner over here. No, 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 don't run through the teleporter. I don't know what happens if you do that. I know it was the shortest path, and I appreciate the... Uh, the intent there, but don't do that. Just, just don't. Okay. Um, zero slug. I'm sorry. I know you're wounded, but okay. Good. Room is clear. Three dead androns in this room. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, you can't see anything from there, but you've got a decent spot of cover. Okay, let's hold that for now. Everyone is now upstairs on this floor. You can't see anything. Where's my corporal? Sorry, buddy. I know you've already been shot once, but if we're going to lose another person on this mission, I don't mind it being the corporal. Okay, I can't see anyone. The hell? Okay. So, there's about two tiles on this map we haven't revealed. There's one there and one there. Androns and their goddamn corners. Okay. Okay. You want to play it this way? We can play it this way. I think I know where you are, because, you know, there's like four places you can possibly be. Okay, I have two C4 charges left, and there are two possible walls behind which an Andron is hiding. I mean, it feels a bit like overkill, but at the same time, if they're going to tuck themselves into a goddamn corner, I kind of want to punish that, and a C4 charge, even through a wall, will probably almost certainly kill them. Might also destroy the teleporter, though, so I kind of need to get people positioned up here, away from the blast zone. And preferably in some kind of cover. Or at least very far away. I mean, I could move you around to there or to the back of whatever that is, but I don't really want to go into this corridor in case that prompts a response when I'm trying to set this up. firing line set up here, just in case anything does survive. Next turn, we arm the C4 charge, we place it on the turn, and I run you... Ah, there's no cover to put you in. That might be too close to the explosion radius, we'll have to check. Okay, well he's on the other corner, and he's got a clean line of fire on us. Damn it! Damn it! There's a 50% chance of which corner he was behind, and he... Damn it, and my commander as well. Man, the cat we are racking up the wounds on this one. Okay. We can still do this. You want to play like that? We can play like that. I mean, unless there's two and there's one on both sides. That is entirely possible. We are still we are still going to do this. I am... There's actually more cover over here, so it's actually better, I guess. Gonna have to do this with a team of wounded people. Not quite my best plan. But, take in what I got. There is more cover, which is good. Why can't you get there? It says you should be able to get there. Why can't you... Oh, damn. Okay. 
can't fit behind that person is a problem. This is where another one walks out of here and shoots you guys in the side. Uh, okay, we need to avoid that happening again, so let's get you back over there. Yeah, you weren't actually in any cover there. And you did take a fairly big wound, so let's pull you back. Let's put you there just to, in case he does push up this way. I want to stay out of the line of sight of him, though, if we can. Can you heal yourself quickly, just in case you do take another shot? Okay, everyone's upstairs. Okay, next turn we are on the C4 charge. We blow through that wall, hopefully kill him. If not, firing line back here lights him up like a goddamn Christmas tree. There's there's two of them. There's one on each side. There's there's one on each side. Okay. Luckily that one's a terrible shot. What were the chances of there being two of them left, one in each of the single tiles on either side of the room? I couldn't see. Okay, I'm still doing this. Um, I don't. I, I. You know what? One time. One turn. Just. I want to blow up straight away. Put that on the ground. And get the fuck away from it. And then get you out. Because that would be really helpful. Okay, C4 charge there. Blows that up. Hopefully kills that guy. They're all in cover here from that angle. Kind of. You're not. Didn't destroy the wall. Didn't destroy the wall? It's a C4 charge. It could blow open their doors, but not their walls. And now I've got two Androns, both hiding in opposite corners. I am really starting to hate Androns, I'm going to have to say. There's, um, there's definitely something about Androns that I am just not approving of right now. Okay. Okay. How are we going to do this? What's my grenade situation like? You've got one electroshock grenade. You have no grenades. You have one electroshock grenade. What have you got? You've got no electroshock grenades, but you do have an explosive grenade. You've got a lenient grenade, but no electroshock grenades. No grenades. No grenades. You have a bunch of grenades, so I could always have you give off grenades to other people. On the other hand, you are also stupidly strong. So if I didn't want you to fire the gun, if I just wanted you to throw grenades around corners... You might actually be very good at that. I've never actually tried throwing a grenade with you, but you are stupidly strong. Oh god, you can actually... F wow. That is an impressive throwing arm. I had not considered the fact that, yes, you are stupidly strong, and therefore you can throw grenades stupidly far. That is good to know. Uh, whatever I've got selected, please, please stop selecting. There we go. Okay, so we did not see four through the wall. That felt like a perfect counter to their current problem. Um, my current problem. But it did not work. We have limited cover in that corridor to move out and actually try and close up on these guys. And how the hell are we going to do this? They're on either side of us. We're going to flank ourselves. trying To, to get to one, we're going to flank ourselves to the other. No one can pass around this corner to engage this guy without this guy being able to shoot them in the back. I mean, smoke grenades might help, but that would also lower our efficiency for actually trying to take them out. And it would only go for covers for one turn. So, I mean, maybe we smoke that area and I try and rush people around in a cover, but these are Andron warriors, I think. If these are soldiers... Are you standing on a soldier body? Yes, yeah, so these are Andron warriors. So they're not the best, but they're still pretty damn good. As evidenced by the fact that they just shot my commander, like, straight in the head. If you were, say, here, could you throw an electroshock grenade to there? Can I get a grenade that far without leaving the room? And also, where's the dude on this side? Is he still up against the wall, or is he out of it? He's still up against the wall. Andron's on their corners, I swear. Now, you can't throw a grenade. Actually, you might be able to throw a grenade. Huh. Okay. Who else have grenades? 
muted. You can't help me with this right now, Major. You might. What's your strength like? 78. That's also a pretty good throwing arm. Okay, okay, okay. Your corporal, your strength is going to be... Almost good enough. You're like one tile too far away. But I'd rather do this with an electric shock grenade, because that is superior. And you don't have any. Stun grenade, but that's not going to help us. I want you up there for that throwing arm. If you can get an electric shock grenade around that corner, that would be pretty amazing. Uh, let's move you out of the way as well. I want to make sure people are in cover if he pops out, because you're currently not in cover from that angle. So you move to there. You move to there. Okay. Might be able to get some reaction fire. Might be able to throw grenades around these corners. Okay, no action on their part. Move up to there. Please don't miss. What the hell was that? Also, I said don't miss, but what the hell was that? How does that... Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I mean, I just need you to not... You see what, You see everything he just did, yeah? Coralie? Coralie, I'm talking to you. You see everything that the, 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 the colonel just did. Don't do that. Okay? Ooh, I can actually get it there. Is that better? It's still one tile away. I can't actually get it onto the corner he's standing on, so I want to... Just, just, just get it, you know, somewhere in that vicinity, for the love of God. See, now that was good. I don't think it actually killed him, though. You, I'm just disappointed in, entirely. I mean, if I can take one of them down with these grenades, that'd be great. I mean, we can just rinse and repeat this a couple of times. I mean, it must have hit him. It's just a question of whether or not it did damage. Is that... <coughs> in the room with us? How did it even get in the room with us? What is this game? What is happening? Why... Why does the game hate me so much? I kind of want to throw a grenade with you again. But I also don't trust you at all. You know what? Um back up as far as you can from this because... Oh, actually, that's kind of where I'm aiming. Okay, don't move to there. Move somewhere else. No, no, I wanna... There we go, that person. Yeah, just... Okay, I'm gonna let you throw an Elenium grenade, because it's about all we got left. There. Not in here! There. Okay? How? And this is where it blows down that wall. Okay. Oh no, set a fire. That's interesting. Oh my word. Oh my god. I, um... I'm kind of running out of words for this, to be honest. Also running out of grenades. I mean, this is... The guy hiding in this corner has got to be taking damage. It's, they do 90 damage on a hit, on a direct hit on an Andron. Now these Elenium grenades will do a lot less... But I'm still hoping. I'm still hoping. I'm about to run out of grenades, though. So you've got nothing useful left, because you are a complete failure of a human being. I swear to God. Okay, you've got an extra shock grenade and a leaning grenade for that corner. That's going to blow up in a minute. Okay, we pissed him off. And now he's moved over to the same corner that I'm about to throw an extra shock grenade to. 
this... No, no, not that person. This could be okay. Move forward. Just, just don't miss, like, the... Just please. I'll take it. Okay, so that's one down? Did we not hit the other one, though? I'm confused. I'm very confused and angry. And actually a little hungry. It's getting close to lunchtime. Wow, I've been recording for an hour. Okay. 50 damage. Great. Do you want to do that again? Does anyone want to do anything about this? No? Nope. Okay. He's moved out into the open, though. That's something. I do have one more Elenium grenade. That's a long throw. Yeah, you, oh, damn, you can't actually throw that far. Damn it! Why can't I kill these Androns? Why do they just go into the corners? What is my life? Can I move you to there and fire? Scatter laser, you're behind cover. You'll have enough time here so I can crouch you. And I think you'll be able to fire because he's slightly far enough from the corner. If not, I'll have to run you back. Okay, reaction fire, that's fine. Can you hit him? You can hit him. Crouch. Light the dude up. Oh my god, that mission. Wow, grenades! Terrible! Like, like, can't trust them. No, no, no trusting grenades. Bad. All, all bad. Okay. My god, I need a drink. 13 aliens killed, 1 Xenonaut casualty killed. Um, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 people wounded. Uh, however, all civilians and all local forces somehow survived that. Uh, we have captured the landing ship data core, we have captured a Wraith soldier corpse. 5 Elenium and 17 alien allies, not bad. Uh, we made $74,000 from that, again, not bad. And we did get some promotions. So both of the corporals we brought on that mission are now sergeants, not bad for their first mission. Uh, Colonel Corley, with two kills, got promoted to commander. And Major Zero Slug, I think that might be you. Yep, that was your first... Oh, no, I was going to say that was your first wound. But no, you got a Order of Merit plus two bravery for elimination of ten extraterrestrial combat units in combat. Nicely done. Unfortunately, we did lose Captain Coral, uh, Carol Coleman. There wasn't much we could do about that, unfortunately. Bad positioning at the time. Uh, Zero Slug is going to be out for four days. Commander Arthur Kovalenko is going to be out for four days. Victoria Williams is wounded for two days. And Corporal Kajel Lund is out for four days. That doesn't matter too much because we want to bring more corporals on the missions to get them leveled up. But uh, Some nice strength increases there. I'd like to see those go up. Strength is very important at this point in the game. Oh boy. Ooh. Alien armor plating. What's that one about? Armor plating fitted to alien capital ships is unusually strong for its thickness. Studying it may allow us to develop new protective equipment. Yes. Yes, I would like that. Um, I think as soon as the scimitar tank research is done, we immediately move on to armor plating. Because that would be fantastic. Right. Uh, our dropship, Legio 9 Xenoctus, is going to return back to base. I'm, however, going to take a break here, because this has been a very long recording session, and I, I need, like, a, a shot of whiskey or something. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully I'm going to see you later on for the next one of these. Bye.